elevate, I just take the ups with the downs If it escalate, my order gon' up or down Make him levitate, Blake lift him up off the ground I'm a heavyweight, I've been tryna uplift the town You ain't say that, oh now we got puppets around I don't play that, the homie can't make up with no clown This the upside, everything is up with me now Down ass bitch, I gotta act it up with now Ain't no Welcome, welcome, welcome to our, what is this, seventh episode of Yeet Talks? <laughs> Damn, we getting close to ten. Um, today I have my special guest and my uh, <clears throat> co-host, Ooh, <laughs> who will be introducing themselves. You want to start with me? I mean, I look this way. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Darrell, XJaden101X on Instagram. Trini, uh, Trill Smooth Trini on Instagram. Whatever, anyway. <laughs> Y'all know me, Nikki, Immaculate.Nick with two Ks on the gram. And uh, obviously, you guys know I am your host, Soka Yee. And today, our topic of discussion is pride. It is our month. And uh, 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 some of my guests are here to assist <laughs> with, our, <laughs> with our topic today. Just a little bit. So, um... <clears throat> Starting from my uh, right. That's nuts. Ooh. What do you define yourself as? I define myself as a bisexual woman. I feel like technically I love men and women the same. It depends on what day you you catch me, you know. Sometimes I might be with my man and sometimes I might be with my bitch. It's just who I like today. That's what matters. And I, I don't really define myself as anything. Um, what you like? I like niggas, but <laughs> so I like niggas. Oh, I like niggas. So then, what but, does that mean? But I'm open to what bitches? Yeah. No. So do you like niggas and bitches? You think it's too long? <laughs> That's the real fact. That's the fact. So then you're a bisexual man. Oh, no, can you? I don't. I don't. He just likes to put labels. Exactly. He's not putting a label on That's anything. Like, you want to fuck a bitch? You gonna fuck a bitch? But you really like men. Correct. Okay, I love that for you, friend. <laughs> well, uh, it's the obvious that I'm a whole uh, lesbian. I like pussy. Are you though? What? Ooh. Why? Because you look like you like bitches. You supposed to like bitches. Ooh. I mean, I do like bitches. No, get into it. Say what, that. What, what you mean? I, I like bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like what? That's <laughs> 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 how you love bad bitches. Oh, okay, my answer might be a little longer. Because right, Get identity and identifying is for me revolutionary. Mm. So when you start identifying black, immigrant, gay, all these things is revolutionary. Mm-hmm. To me. Talk your shit, sir. So, Get so I identify. It. What do you identify? Black, gay. Oh, immigrant. You a you're a black, black gay immigrant. You a immigrant, black, gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just say that. Okay, now we're well, getting well that, well that, well right, that. Cool. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> he's an immigrant, so, so. immigrant black gay. He's a black immigrant gay. That's so you is. identify yes. as he's a gay. gay. Play, period. As, as a gay. As a gay. gay. Black gay. Black immigrant. immigrant. Man. Yeah, My all that. All that stuff. ring on it. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm here for it, Mr. Immigrant Black Gay. <laughs> We're not going to put it in order. We're not. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's a struggle. So how did you guys know that you were either... Black, gay, immigrant, <laughs> lesbian, bisexual, open. How do you guys know this? Like, how? Well, for me, it was very difficult because personally, um, I thought I was going to be a lesbian, respectfully. Like, and it's funny because I don't know if, like, my family could tell, but my one of my aunts, she knows who she is. I'm not going to tell her name. But, like, she used to press me, like, what do you like? I'm like, bitch, I'm 13. I don't know. But, like... I had I was clearly still a virgin, but I definitely knew that I loved women and I had not really had a profound love for men. I just didn't think niggas liked me, but I knew that like females kinda liked me. So it was like, Oh, okay, I'm gonna be gay forever and then I got to high school. High school <laughs> high school is what do with everybody. I don't know. Niggas too. Like, Are you like me? <laughs> now he's six two and he like me and I was like five four five five back then so I was like four. Damn bitch, when did the girl stop? 
at an eight scene bitch like a regular person. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. That's, that's, that's why. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, that. don't do me that. But like when I was eighteen, I stopped growing. So I was like five four, five five until like um eighteen years old, seventeen, eighteen years old. That's when I stuck with five seven forever. And it just was what it was type shit. But yeah, and then I realized niggas liked me and I was like, okay. Okay, I like niggas too, but it was like, nah, but I'm not going to get with my bitches. Like, I'm going to love bitches forever. It's just what I like. So you just knew. I just knew, like, I was going to love bitches. And then once high school came in, I was like, I definitely like niggas too. Like, it wasn't a forced option. It was just like, I like what I like. I like both of them. And both of them. Whoever got a problem just sucks to be them. And not the sucks to be them. It does. That's, that's How did you should. know, sir? Um, How did I know that? Like niggas. How did you know that you was open? <laughs> That's what we call him. Yeah, we call him open. 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 I guess. Fluid. Fluid. Uh, Ooh. Fluid. Like, open. You a fluid ass nigga. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mr. Fluid. Nah, in middle school, through high school, even through a little bit of college, I was dead ass in love with this girl. Like, she broke your heart. You want me to be her? Because it's still available. No, I mean, we, we cool now. We just, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, we yeah cool. friends like everybody. She actually just had a baby the other day. Mm. Yeah. It is, but the um, other day. Congratulations yeah. to Shorty, who just yeah, had the baby. Crying. You know who that is. Congratulations or whatever. You could um, keep him straight, but whatever. But yeah, I was in love with her for the longest and like got my heart broken, went through a bunch of bullshit with that. And But I always kind of knew I like niggas if that makes sense what was the defining moment when you was like I think I really I actually like when I stopped fucking with that bitch what time, what so time she, was that she broke your heart and you was just like it It wasn't a fuck bitches now cause of you I'm gonna go fuck with niggas I feel like I always kinda had a thing for niggas but I really did love her so when I finally like clipped that I was like okay well now well, let me see what's up how old was you this was I want to say maybe in my early 20s. So you basically knew that you had like some type of like attraction to men, but you never tested it until after you got out that situation with her. Correct. Okay. And I didn't test early it. Early 20s? Early 20s. Okay. Yeah. That's about right. When you're finding yourself, figuring out who you are. Yeah. Cool. No, yeah. Because mine was early than that. <laughs> mine was too. We're not talking about us. Talking about him. Well, I was talking about you. Now we're talking about you. I was saying because when did I realize that I was gay, right? That's mm-hmm. the question. Mm-hmm. Gay, black, immigrant. Yeah, uh, emigrants. Those those, 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 those other things probably with you. <laughs> Find out. Those other things probably came a little later. But when did I notice I was gay? Um, I would say early, early, early. So like probably like five, six. So yeah. No, elaborate. I ain't gonna tell you because then I had this one friend. I had this one friend as a kid who had a boyfriend, and it was real weird. Like I kind of crushed on her boyfriend. Never told Ooh. her anything like that. How That's all I'm saying. You? I was probably like, what? Not your crush on her man. Do you want to okay. know this friend? Yeah. <gasps> and I would crush on her boyfriend. And I was like, I'd be like, oh my God. Like, what the fuck All is going these on? Like, yeah, I was like, what is going on in my mind? Like, y'all you know saying, mind so I'm a virgin at this time. Nine? Like, yeah. Or was it 5'6? Because at 5'6, I don't have nothing for you, you in my brain. Like, I have really? a pieces, but not like with. Other people. I'm, like, I'm saying you don't get sexually aroused because then that's we're sexualizing kids, right? It's not right. sexualizing kids. Like kids. Do but no, I know I like fine. bitches at seven. Yeah, yeah they do like other I people. Like, I was. I can't tell you. With me, it wasn't they girls. Were, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't it girls. Was Even like they tried. <laughs> but thoughts. That the, a, defining, a defining moment and is knowing for sure, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like we all had like little things that's happened as to, kids, as, as kids growing and up like, that you since, felt like okay, yeah, child, now, I'm like, looking at a nigga. You know what I mean? No, oh, no, it was the defining. No. What was your defining, your defining moment? moment I guess, when you like knew for sure, like, like, like when you're older. I just don't think you're around. It's like for sure, like excuse me, you just got my heart exactly, and that too. Like I'm saying, I was sexual pretty early. How at an early age. How early? I'm not going to disclose. <laughs> but I was sexual at a pretty early age. So even that. Get too, a load right? of this guy. <laughs> I can't get a load of this guy. Because I know mine was in the late to men, but I, I to women earlier. You, See, that's my you, thing too. You, you I, I almost knew. had sex with a girl one time. I, did know. I almost had sex with a girl one time and it never happened. And since it never happened, I was like, okay, so then maybe this is not it. Maybe I'm not supposed to be my girl. I still think <laughs> right. this is not Maybe I'm not supposed to be my girl. I think that would have turned out. What you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I had the gooch. I had the gooch. So, I don't so you never had the gooch no. to this day? No. Yeah, you're mad again. No, the thing is, the thing is, I was like, 
it fucked around. Intrigued. No, gag. I've had threesomes with women involved. But you never touched them. But you never yeah, touched the women. That's not a threesome. I keep trying to tell it's you that. It's not. A, it's not. It is. It's not a thing. <laughs> we're not all engaging. Yeah, is it really it's making a threesome? With one party and not, not the second party. It's not a threesome. It's three people there. No, baby. It's you just niggas just they're, just they're, they're, they're there, there, but they're not there. But and if y'all not all He was a side in a sexual interaction. It was It was. It was a married couple because they was married. Okay, I but you concerned. still was not. That's a threesome. Fucking it's, with that woman, you was fucking licking with the man, man, so that wasn't she a thing. They touched you. I didn't. I didn't. Did she I didn't she like to watch. Fucking her man. She, she wants. She just watch. She wanted you to watch her fuck and her man. Is. Niggas is niggas do weird shit like trigger that. Warning. Ooh, trigger warning. Trigger warning. He was. They was white. I was in drugs. Oh, 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 drugs. Was they white? What type of? They was white. You see? I would never see that. I said Oh, Shout out to my white folks, though. It was Caucasian. But no, they do be on some freaky you shit. Was, they was definitely Caucasian. They're more open. That. You They're, more open. Nothing. They're more open. They're very open. Um, <clears throat> like, I've never had, like, a coming out moment, like, a defining. That's what I'm saying. I've never had these moments. Cause even, like, a young, I used to be really gay. They used to call me gay. So, like, that was, I but already knew see, I was gay. You're not telling us the age that you had that defining moment or the moment. Was never a real defining when moment. When did you lose your virginity? That's the defining moment, baby. <laughs> When you got your ass smacked by a man, and you was like, oh, I like this. I'm going to stay here. Because then, then you have to understand, too, my evolution as a human. I was a bottom then. So then I bottomed in that situation. Oh, so now I'm not even. Not, now? Not, not, that's not even my life. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 Are you yeah, hot? Yeah, 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 I like to know these things. So that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Nigga said I grew. So you would like never go back to being a bottom. Maybe I dibble and dabble, but it's not. That was my primary source of like. I, I that's what I thought I liked. I thought I, I liked. So many questions, baby. We, but we gonna we, we, we gonna dive all day that. <laughs> so many questions. Okay, y'all yeah, DL niggas. Y'all yeah, think y'all fooling somebody? Y'all yeah, DL niggas are not fooling me. But go ahead. You think so? Oh, you are, you I would gag. You. You would I gag. would gag, but you know, you know what? I wouldn't gag because I already have that sensor. And even though my gay sister might not be the best. If I ever fuck with a man and he's a little too inviting, there's certain things that I do that tells me. But you'll be so glad I finger go somewhere. If you ever let certain things slip uh, a little, it don't open. Exactly. Exactly. It don't. Exactly. But it don't, and you're right because I probably would die and get. You know what's crazy? But the niggas that do let you slip where you slip and get where you get, <laughs> and they like that. A lot of niggas now lately though, even straight yeah, men, they like that. They like most that. Of, they now, most okay. of my friends are straight niggas. Straight niggas, they, uh, a lot of them be getting straight nigga eyes. You straight? And that's you want you want a man to eat your eyes. Everyone has all their preferences. I'm saying, exactly about what you're saying. So if you get a bit like, I don't straight niggas see my women. In other words, Chinese, I'm giving you the eyes. That's how you are scary. You listening? All right, guys. There are bitches who like to eat niggas' asses. Yes, I like to pack niggas. And they like to pack niggas. Hello, TV. You see me? You see me? It's not fucking I. I mean, I never eat no man eyes. That's, yeah, I'm on it. No, that's, 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 that's fine. That's oh, fine. Why? That's fine for no. you. Girls, that's fine for you. That's fine for you. They're not straight females who do it. They're not. They don't so know. See. They just know what so a man acts and they'll do. So that's so enough. Okay. okay. She didn't talk about the different oh. conversation. Not the guy. He didn't drop his dawn, y'all. It's all right. We're not going to say what kind of dawn it was because we can't say that. But That's a fact, but it's okay. It's all right. It's we, gonna be we gonna yeah, go on. Get us some please, y'all. But, um. Yeah, right. But anyway, next question, because these hoes, <laughs> y'all think you're Realistically. Playing, uh, not playing me, because I will. I you'll be surprised to know. I have gay friends. I have gay friends. Uh, and I will definitely send them, because I don't have no ugly gay friends. And I'm definitely sending a nigga or two. You'll be surprised to know you would that you would. a lot of I'm these not, bitches not, are open to I'm a lot of different eat a things. Bitch ass, so why the fuck do I? Again, eat a that's a personal ass. preference. Your yeah, personal ass. preference does not determine everybody's. Exactly. Not, not even preference. Some men can be sexual right? and like to eat. Ass. Oh like she God. said, there's females no, like to eat ass, like their ass ate. Both. So you think that you don't think straight straight females who like to eat men's ass? No, I do, but I think okay. So why don't what can a nigga want? Those are the the nigga the bitches that want to do whatever a nigga want. No, there's just some freaky bitches with bitches. And that's what they're like. I don't want to know those bitches. If you are my, you'll be surprised. And you be out here eating a nigga ass. 
You might as well keep that bitch to the grave. Ain't nothing wrong with eating a nigga ass. I'm exactly. not eating Sexual nobody's is, ass. A nigga, a bitch. Sexuality nobody. is different from like if you eat my ass, gender and gender expression. Have you, so you like you like if I eat ass. Have to get get my ass. Ate. I'm not eating it no don't ass. Have to I'm be sorry. A regular play. It don't have to be a regular basis. However, if you want to surprise me every other week, bi weekly. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to ride me, and then do the ass will be tweeted the fuck up and booted the fuck up. However, no, I don't even care to have my ass eaten on a regular basis. It's just like an extra. Mm. Ooh, nice. Okay. So oh, why can't he want to? Oh, your tongue does that. He should not want that with this tongue because his tongue is not eating no man or and that's woman. That's fine because you know what's gonna happen. He go to the next bitch that's gonna eat his ass. Go to that's fact. at that point, and that's fine. Whatever you do, man, woman, whatever, it's not gonna be me. So whoever you need to go to because you want your ass tooted and booted in the air eight, it's not gonna be straight honest. man could like things sexually. They can, that's but different. I don't want that straight man. Yeah. I want the one who wants no parts of touching that because booty you hole. believe if that straight man does that he's gay. That's what the yeah, you know what the, I think I do. I'm not even gonna hold y'all up. I think that double standard definitely exists. Okay, in a bisexual or a straight woman's life, it absolutely does, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't want no man who identifies as a, being a straight man. One, I, I don't want him with his booty. That booty hole it should be a said. no sanction. No, we're not gonna Stop. touch that. He yeah. should jump. If he don't jump when you, eat. first of all, you see my nails? <laughs> no, for real, y'all see my nails? See nails? When I fucking even reach, <laughs> I shouldn't. Hello, you should even, you should even my, touch. my nail is gonna touch before the fingertip do. So I should be getting up, cursing me out. I, I, that's the only time you get to call me all types of bitches. Bitch, are you done? <laughs> Leave <laughs> shop, nigga. You need to be shopping. <laughs> what are you talking? Yes, I no. No, yeah, I don't want him. For all the straight niggas who uh, want their ass eat, this is not this the is bitch for you. Try it. I don't want to know that though. You know who know like that? that? White bitches. What? White bitches do anything. Is, is, is this one straight boy actually on who makes content, and he makes like pegging content or like dildo content, I mean, and he's, he's married to with kids. And he like makes actual content. A lot of but them do the, that though. Why are we dragging it? Like the biggest he's audience, like his biggest audience I is mean, gay men. He wanted bitches to put and he'll sure. he fuck him. Too? Yes. Yes. A lot of them do that though. Don't, don't, a lot of your niggas get an ass laid out. Don't insult my kids their entire page and what Don't insult my kids from him. No. And I don't want that shit. And that's fine. It's mean and the kids. That's both his page and his You're mine. 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 It's put up. He's letting a bitch. Put a fucking strap on, on herself, and fuck him. And they get in the check. Why? The I'm check all that shit. Money make y'all do anything. And no, but it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. That's, that's, that's people's sexuality. He enjoys being a play in And that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's if you don't like that, So if you, you are like a straight man that likes anal play, don't come to this bitch right here because she's not with the shit, y'all. I'm going to fry you. We're going to fry you. It's not even a discussion. We're going to work on opening your mind. No. The crazy thing is, because this is the people be feeling like people in the gay community. It's, it's, it's so, so open. So open. We're so open. It's and I open. And don't meet me. Right. I like. I'm. You're. A, you. You're. You. You're a part of the As a bisexual person, I correct? Did. Okay. And we have different views on how that whole thing. But see, see, but the difference with my bisexuality is like you know how people like they have three sons like. I definitely prefer to have, we talked about this episodes ago, mm-hmm. two yeah, women on one man. Mm-hmm. There is no such thing as two men on one woman. Two men on one woman is a train. However, so that means to me. That is it. Okay. Double, we, that's double, 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 double standard. It is a double standard. We did discuss it though. We did discuss this shit because there are a lot of double standards y'all get away with. And you know what? I used to hate double standards as a youngin and as a grown ass woman. I accept them shits. No, I don't want two dick sword fighting. Y'all, there's not going to be one in the ass, one in the pussy. There's not going to be one in the pussy, one in my mouth. It's not going to be like that. Because again, said I'm not a sword I do fish. identify as bisexual. I'm not a swordfish. I do identify as bisexual, but I definitely love women more than I love men. So there will never be two men on me. Ever. Never. But a lot of bitches like that. 
and that's fine. We talked about uh, that again. No, the thing is, that's that's, that's, like, that's yeah, that's very um. I think different. a lot of people in the world just like, like, like a double standard. I'll take the double. Not standard. even a double. Standard. Standard. A, lot a lot of people are open. I feel like you need to explore your sexuality. I don't yeah. You know what? When I explore my sexuality, I more so want to explore it with women. Anyways, is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. No, I get that. I get that. And women are more open. No, but then you have because they're more open because I love women more. Is what I'm trying. Her attraction to women is is the way it's high up there. So I understand. So I rather explore my sexuality and go all fucking in with a woman before I even think about letting a man tell me anything he like. And I'm sorry, not really, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And that's the thing too. If you're going into these sexual experiences, right? It has to be two ways, not one way. So like, the man can't tell you what he wants. It has to be like you agree upon this, and he might say something, and you might say something, and you both agree to what's happening. That's why I feel like it should be all hands on deck. Whoever's involved, it should be always. If I'm touching you, touching me, you touching him, I'm touching him. That's what a threesome threesome is. But my point is, I guess a titty or something. People who please do, (laughs) but I feel like there's a lot of people who (laughs) feel like two men or one woman is a thing. But if it's not a no, hold on. (laughs) It's not a threesome if those two men are not interacting with each other. You understand what I'm saying? It's not. Just because it's straight people in a room don't mean it's a threesome. Literally, literally, it's people who, um, I forgot what they call it. What did they call it, Carmen? When they're like, they just like to watch the voyeurs? They call I don't like the voyeurs because you know so what they say? That's also you know a threesome. You know what that term means in jail? That means you're a it's creep. Cu- it's okay, couple, but you're like, like, that means, yeah. no, 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 they're on jail, but they're definitely... <laughs> I understand what you're saying. So you're, it's somebody but, watching. Yes, you're a they, creep. Yeah. They are watching the window. They get pleasure they from watching. Watch. No, it's, no. It's, it's couples it's, like that. But one fine. of the couple, one of the members of the couple, don't likes to watch. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a girl, though. I don't consider that a threesome. If you're a threesome, such sessions is not a threesome because they're not joining. You're a spectator. That's what you are. Any one other person in the room where it's not two people, do you think it's threesome? Yes, you're considering it as a threesome. You're fuck out. I think it's You're a you have a bugging the fuck out. Stop you have a bugging the fuck out. Stop hitting me up asking you to be a third. I don't want to be the third. I don't want to be the second most of the time. <laughs> Stop fucking asking me. I don't want to fuck you and your man. I don't want to fuck you and your bitch. PSA? I don't want to fuck you and your man. PSA? Like, PS fucking it. PSA? Stop hitting me up. <laughs> Niggas, people been hitting me up. The first time I ever got approached about a threesome, I was 15 years old and I was still a fucking virgin. Nobody got the pussy yet. I'm packed. And a bitch was like, oh, yeah, can you fuck me and my man? I was like, bitch, why would I give the pussy to your man? I haven't get the pussy to the person I like. Are, we, are you dumb? Slow, stupid? Yeah, you, need to, so, you, need to, I mean, you need to explore more. Motherfucking PSA. Stop hitting some this more. bitch up for three songs because this bitch is not open for it. The bitch have to look yeah. for you. Let me look for you, bitch. Because half y'all bitches don't even be in shape how I want y'all to be. So let's talk about that. Oh, my God. <clears throat> so, so, <laughs> so, um, the next, I got to type. The next question is, um, a funny one because growing up, you know, when you, when your parents or people find out that you're, you're gay, they, they tend to ask this dumbass question. Dumbass question. Which is, she, she like girl. no, 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 that was the dumbass. This, this, this is the dumbass question. Go ahead. Do you think people are born gay or is it a learned trait? I hate that dumbass question. I hate that question too. A learn trait? You think I just learned to be gay, bitch? That's weird. I mean, that's what a lot of people ask. So what's y'all answers? Go ahead, Darrell. <laughs> 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 that is the dumbest I, 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 I hate that question, too. It's, you can't, you, yeah. they're not, yeah. uh, Go ahead, Darrell. We're going to start from your left. Because there's so much dying in that show. Get that to people it. People are actually born like this. It's like in your genetics. It's Do you genetics, think so? It's data. You think Actual so? It's genetic? Data. Like so your so dad could be gay, now you're gay? Or your great, 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 I don't think it's learned behavior either. I don't think, I don't think that's I don't the think thing. It's learned behavior, but go ahead. Um, I don't think it's a thing. What you think? I don't think that you it's think that's a thing. What you want? So you, I, I do think I want so what you think I want. It's choice. I feel I, it's, it's very much is a choice. I don't think you're born. When you're born, so when you're born, right? Learn, so boom. Huh? When you're, I don't think learn. I think learn that someone doing it in front of you and you copy of what they're doing is learned behavior. Okay. Realistically, though, when you're born, right? Your parents so that's like show choice. treat that's or, or like you're too, you're basically what you tell you, I don't, hey, I don't, you're I supposed to get married you. to so and so. You're supposed to, you know, I, I want you to have kids with so and so, or like you're supposed to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever it may be. Right? That's them telling you what it is. 
right. realistically i don't right. you can't be you're not born that way like okay i just came out my kids gay so are you that's born? not a thing so are you born you have the like option sexual. no you're not born nothing baby you get you're, older right your and sexual you know what she wants sexual tension and that's learned that's you like what you're right. right i don't necessarily think it's learned but no one is saying no it's not it is if you're saying is you're not born gay or straight chosen it's chosen you learn or that's something that you're making learn and chosen the same thing basically I think that's what that's they correlate, they correlate right? Definitely. Mm-hmm. So maybe it is a learning. I don't like learn. I feel like learning is it's like, a choice. It's like you learned it from somebody. Like your uncle was gay. When it's you a choice. Like, 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 so. like, like Raven just said, this to be from the time you're birds to one call the faggot at four No, no, no. And then you got to understand. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just to our audience very quick. That's I've been gay my whole life. Exactly, your whole life, right? For three. My uncles and like teachers was like, oh, you got it. He got a little sign. I mean, yeah. they'll stay sad. It's poor memory. I mean, they didn't have a hair in there, but he, I like boys when I was in elementary school. Okay. There That's not no learned. 0% to a woman. Zero. Okay. So you think that now was. I got a girlfriend in middle school. And pretended. Well, yes. Everybody so done that. Oh, yes. you was born that way. I always love yes. boys. Always. I've never had one of these the girls. Really? All the like, time I had the girls is them being my best friend. I don't fucking find another best friend. I just don't yeah, feel like you yeah, come out the coochie that way. Never, I don't it's, like it's, the, it's I science. Don't like the learn I'm thinking it's, it's science. Like, I'm not it's science that, that back you it. learn to be gay. I'm, I'm saying that you. I feel like it's a choice. It is science that back to your core moments, right? Being born gay. I've personally can't remember. I see. I guess this is where the controversy comes in now, right? This is where the that girl and I was that. I don't think so. Sorry. I don't think born that girl and I was born that. You is her, baby. I was a lady, I was wearing my life. I was fresh, my white beard on you. What? Oh, I got it. 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 I got so 50 I 50 i don't know no it is that's what i'm saying it depends it's some people some so people some people i would say because it's even like happening right now i feel like with transness yeah and the girls who are transitioning right. right right now these new girls that are transitioning it's very much trendy so they're it they're they're choosing is. i feel like a lot of them to want to be trans do you feel like it's based on the, on the generation because like then the rates of them detransitioning is up to, so you do so you feel like it's based on the on the the generation well yes no well, yes, it's visible. We have visibility. I, mean, when, when I, I feel like you have core moments now is, this is your five plus years. Personally, I don't know about y'all and how deep your memory goes. My memory don't go before I was five years old. I don't know what the fuck I was doing at one, two, three, and four. After five years yeah, I, old, I, I remember at three. I thought, what the fuck? I remember bitch, three. You uh, pictures, yeah, bitch. I don't know nothing. Not trust me. Yeah, but there's three people. He said they put what it is. Three. You have four memories. When things happen, traumatizing in your life, especially as a young child. You remember those things. I just feel like I was rumping, not rumping for real. Oh, <laughs> but you was rumping, humping, was humping, and because I was, I had clothes on. But you was, was, was dry humping. And you was I humping. don't want my parents to watch this. <laughs> Whoever, <laughs> if it get out there, get out there. Shout it's out to it. the parents that may watch this. I'm grown. I'm thirty, bitch. But at in elementary school, I was low key rumping with bitches. You swear house. I was. I love to be oh, daddy. You know what? The, the thing is. <laughs> If it's it's daddy. Daddy. <laughs> so maybe my core memory started at four. Yeah, four you swear oh, oh, my, mom me, my mom told me um, that my preschool teacher, Mrs. Rosenthal, shout out to you, bitch. I'm crying. She told my mom that I was very bossy, right? But what the facts was is that when we played house, I was daddy every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fact <laughs> was. Every time I played house with anybody, I mm. wanted Always to be daddy. a fucking dad. I don't know what that was about. I don't know how that shaped my fucking life. But every time I ever played house as a kid. That's all I'm telling you. That was, yeah. Mom, Mom, I was the dad, said, bitch. That was Bring you from a pre- a little, bitch. That was you from birth knowing you exactly. was Exactly. But you weren't gay. Right. That was the dad. <laughs> but that was, but she learned that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> it was unconscious. Like it unconscious bias. Maybe it was the unconscious decision that um, I was daddy bitch. Yeah. <laughs> because so, even to this day when I interact with any woman and I have sexual intercourse with any woman, I have still to this day never been strapped. I have strapped bitches. Oh, so you make daddy. <laughs> I got three different ones. Uh, beige, purple, black. <laughs> They're all about seven and a half. They got names. They got names. 
Don't. I'm, I'm gonna go. Don't I'm gagging. I'm gonna put them on the spot. I'm like gagging. I'm gagging. Can't put my straps on the spot like that. But just know there's a bitch in Atlanta who got fucked from here to fucking Atlanta, and she was obsessed. And You're the Baghdad? I still love you. I know you went to Staddy Way, but you know what the facts are. The Staddy Way. She know what the facts are. It's because I ain't. I am not that bitch screaming my government okay, name. Daddy, I live for that. Daddy. Oh, that matters. You have the curtain. It's the curtain. You have the curtain. Why are you an uptake? It's a thing. I have a 30-inch body wave. The nails on fleek. I knew I couldn't get too crazy with her. So I was like, you know what? I bought the strap. I bought the beige one to her. She'll never forget it. She'll never forget it. I'm not going to say your name, but if you see it. never forget it. You know. I miss you sometimes, but... I'm not gonna lie, your girlfriend ah. ugly. <laughs> your new statty is ugly. I didn't know you like that type of thing. Oh wow, she could be a little brother, but anyways. Um, she's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Why y'all brought me up here, y'all? Because I be talking. Anyways, no, so, this, is we, this is what we need. Yeah. With your first Watch that bitch when I see her. But gay experience, right? How did it make you feel? Gay. Gay? How gay? <laughs> like, they're for real. Like, they're for real. Like, <laughs> holy shit. All right, I'm not fucking out. Like, all these other things that's been happening is real now, bitch. It's real. Wait, wait, wait. What, 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 what would be considered my first gay experience? Because my first gay experience was like, I would say would be like my first pride. That was your was, first gay? Where I was real, real gay. No, no. Then I had no. an underwear. Like, the gay colors. You were an underwear. Oh, the gay. You was listen, a hoe. Listen, <laughs> man. <laughs> He was a hoe. No, 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 gay. One black black underwear. Not long ago. The he gay flag underwear. Then I had on like a gay flag shirt. It was like like real, real gay. gay. Yeah, that's that's gay. Gay. Intercourse. No. So then you was already a hoe before that. But I'm saying I wasn't really gay and out like that. Like I feel like that was my first gay gay experience. Fuck like, being out. Me, me, and, like trans out. people for the first time. Me, me. That was like, your first gay experience. Fuck being out. Like it was. What was the I, first I, experience you had with a I think, I think what, it's, it's right. It's, yeah, 15. we haven't still become. 15. Okay, okay, regular so the sexual, sexual. Don't, don't answer it sexually. <laughs> okay. Because that's, that's a sexual. That's what I say. That's what it comes to. That's what it comes to, baby. Yeah, so don't, don't. We're not giving the sexual right now. We're not asking for the sexual, okay? Come on, you take too long. I want to know about your first gay experience as yeah, it was my example of what that was. Not sexual? My first not time. sexual. How was it not? And what? that was when? Like in 2009? I don't know how to answer that question. So like, when you knew you, you like bitches, you've been... I, I felt kind of when you first liked that bitch. You know, so you know when I first knew it? When my I was 13 years old. It was my 8th grade prom. And my aunts and everybody was there. And they were dressing me. And my hair was done up. And remember the... um. Flat twist? Remember flat twist? Not the flat twist. Yeah, baby. The extra was out. <laughs> that was flat twist out of this black and white. I didn't have a prom day. I was 13 years old. I was mad fucking awkward. Um, and I had not had my experience with either a man or a woman yet. However, my aunt asked me that day, which was fucking weird. Like, bitch, in my business. And she was like, do you like men or women? Like, do you like girls or boys? Like, what do you like? I'm like, bitch, I like boys. Lied to her. And that's when I was like, hold, hold on. What I just told her was not the truth. Like, I love bitches. bitches. Like, that was, it was hard to admit because I was such a fucking tomboy. Like, the basketball team. I was getting dirty. I was playing manhunt. I liked four-wheelers. I liked fucking dirt bikes. My dad had a dirt bike, a motorcycle, a car. Like, I was outside climbing gates. I got scars all over my body. Mm-hmm. Like, that says... You might be a little boy, bitch. Would you guys say that's your first realization of you? Being like, I that's, think so. That's, what you're saying. That's, that's my first it, realization when my aunt asked me and I lied to her face. And I was like, when she asked me, I was like, yeah, like, I like boys. Why would you say that? Why would you? I was offended that she asked me that. But then it was like, hold on. That's an old. You know yeah. what? I, when you're like a, you when like you're a child or a teen or whatever. And these questions are asked to you from like adults. You just react. You react. Because like, you don't, you don't want to get in. Tr- you think. Is you coming out is you getting in trouble. You feel me? And that's trouble. how I always look at it. It's everything else, too. Because, like, my family knew. I know all y'all motherfuckers knew. Everybody always knew. But realistically, y'all lied. Yeah, I got a boyfriend. And everybody knew. And everybody knew. It wasn't a it thing. It was so weird to me. It was right, weird to right. me. It was weirder for me because my family is Caribbean and Southern. So, in both places, in the Southern of the USA and in fucking Trinidad and Tobago, 
You cannot be gay. You, can't. Well, you're, you're, you know what? Sindian household is not all for that gay shit. What but no, gay? your correct, your southern is household so is not crazy. either. You cannot be gay. They, so I when think they have adapted to it now. Can no. I chime in on this? Put, yeah. Can I chime in on this? Because it's so crazy. Because I kind of thought the same thing too. But it was wild that both my parents. Because I came out to both my parents at the same time. Is and wrote that letter. They were like super we accepting. We write letters. They were like super accepting. They were super. It was like. Yeah, Natalie and Frank's name is not happening. It was like it. a cry thing. I cried. It was like a whole thing. They was like, I st- we still love you. You're still our son. Like, that kind of like. It busts your fucking head. Yeah, it was weird. It, it was so weird. Because everybody goes to the break. It was like, yeah, it was it was so like so what? So okay, weird. that's not what y'all was supposed to do. It was, was, was do. very different because I have an aunt that's 12 years my senior. She's 12 years older than me. So we grew up like sisters, not like uh-huh. aunt and niece. Yeah. She knows. She's always fucking known. Now, my mom, she's like this fake holy lady. Like, she's in church heavy. She going to pray over you. She knows. She's never going to want to admit that. And I've never spoken to her about my sexuality. To this because, day. To this day. So, I want to say about maybe five years ago, we had a conversation, right? And the conversation actually <clears throat> was very heartbreaking for me. Basically, my mom said, if you ever identify as a lesbian and you were to marry a woman, I would not be there. I would not fuck with you. I would not be around. I would not support that shit. That's my mother. The you person wanna, who fucked me you? out. You want to know what's crazy? Because I, like, I feel like that's your whole tension with sexuality too with boys. No, so maybe, I don't think so. Maybe dive into therapy with that. No. That is therapy. Because I feel I'm like, I feel like you. that's your... Okay, I, like that's your, I don't think so. But my mom said what she said. And that uh-huh. struck me wrong. But what was very fucking surprising to me was Dad. my grandma came in. And my grandma said, I don't give a fuck what you like. Grandma's always holding down. She said, not yeah, that they, I want to see you flop down. down no woman ever. She said, but like what you like. whoever you love is whoever the fuck you love. Shout out to grandma. Like grandma. Shout out to grandma. Shout out to grandma. grandma. Is the person who fucking Shout raised me. My grandparents raised me. My mom did not raise me. Let's make that clear. My, my <laughs> mom did not raise me. My grandparents raised me. So for my mm-hmm. mom to grandma. be the person who was not around when I was growing up and be like, bitch, I'm not going to ever accept you if you like bitches. But for my grandma to say, you know, just tone it down a bit, but I'll be at the wedding. <laughs> it was crazy because they both entrenched heavily. So for my grandma to accept me and be like, if that was what you chose, then I have to love you either no, way, okay. baby. And my no, mom no, to be no, like, no, I can't that's support that's you. Shout out for crying. Right. Yeah, because that's not Mrs. Mack. Because yeah. you're the fucking truth, and that's what it is. Yeah, because that, that was like, even like both no, my parents. Mrs. Mack from the 50s? Yo, you got a chair. Oh, she's from the biggest queens there is, and she'll let you know every time. No, because definitely, because I feel like both my parents being at my wedding made it like a special thing it made it official yeah it it's made it like a very yeah it made it like a real like okay this is solid it my parents were not was. with the shits that part no, um natalie and frank was not that with part. the shits um <laughs> i'm sorry frank <laughs> yeah frank he was not with the shits um frank wasn't gonna be with the shits. Right. 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 frank from my show i said <laughs> every frank ate the shit right every frank um <clears throat> realistically when my parents found out it was very awkward very weird my father was on the bus. Well, what um, he was he was on the forty six bus going home. Okay. He crazy. called my mother. <clears throat> I was I was with my, I'm walking down the street with my girl, oh, arm over, and baby, we are on. <laughs> I must have been like, somewhere so in my twenties. Okay, you grown? That that grown enough? That's what matters. Somewhere in my twenties, right? Grown ass lady, Ashonda, and um, grown as fuck, walking down the street, right? arm over we walking down i don't even remember i think we got off on like flatlands or some shit and um my mother calls me she's like what are you doing i'm like i'm walking Living, bitch. she's like hey, <laughs> walking <laughs> where i'm like uh down the block with my friend raven your father just seen you with your arm around some girl i saw oh, fuck Jesus. you know what at this very moment it's Frank, where i know frank you a snitch frank this is where i knew i had to tell this woman the truth because realistically, prior to that, prior to her finding out, it was so much weird shit that was going on where niggas was like sending weird ass odd letters to my mother telling, oh, it's a shame your kid is gay. Hold on. It was some weird shit. We're going to find them. We're not even going to do it. But it was some weird shit, right? It was some weird shit. We also went after. But it was weird shit, right? They church people? No, not even. It's some weird hate shit. But letters, bro. Letters go crazy. Even it went as far as. 
my brother is uh we not gonna talk about that weird bitch neither but this bitch had also told my mother that i was like talking to bitches online shit like that it was like weird shit so my mother asked me you feel me and i think what she wanted from me was for me to tell her the truth True. Yeah. but she at that same moment she was still not going to be okay with it. She was. So at that very point, when she found out from my father, and my father had already like seen it, I said, I can't lie about it. Oh, oh, way to go out. fucking eyes. You can't so I, I was like, yo, yeah, that's my girl. She went off. Did not speak to me so for like a whole so you, so you kinda got, month, you, so you kind of got like caught. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. caught and had to come out. No, you know what it was, though? I mean, yeah. it's never going to come out. She would have went on longer if I didn't come out. Like, I forced it on her. No. When people force you out the closet, that's coming out, too. I randomly called her one day. She was in the Lowe's parking lot. I was like, oh, what you doing? She's like, oh, I'm um, about to go to Lowe's. I said, all right. Um, I'll see you just now. I pulled up with my girl. This is the moment where you're going to meet Shorty. And it's going to be what it's going to be. Amen. I love that for you. And from that, it went on. upon her, but... My father... Did like a gangster? She had to suck it up. My father had an old conversation. Oh, you know, I see you walking down the street with girl and this side and the third and that, that, that. And he said that. Sir, 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 sir I like girls. You've seen it. It is what it is. Fuck it. It's either going to take the whole other take it. I feel too. Mm-hmm. Love that. And Did you know that for yourself? Years yeah. after. I got it. It got accepted. It was what it was. I got caught. You know but I feel like they already it's not, knew. It's not like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's not, I already knew no more. Yeah, at that point, I'm talking about truth. At that point, I'm talking about truth. I'm in this life. So either you're going to fuck with me as your kid or you're going to disown me. Because you got to get. I was. I my is, if you disown me. Mine the text messages in the phone. Remember, parents used to you take your phones and shit like that? Like, so why the fuck are you taking my phone? Why don't take my phone? I used to hint that. Why are you taking my phone? That's the dumbest shit you can do. I had three phones. I had a fucking. Which I'm using a computer. Which I'm talking to these niggas on a computer. I have no problems. I have no problems. What powers did you have? Yeah. I didn't really have any problems until I got caught. You so so what? Well, you got caught. Came um, out just straight. I, no, you I, got dragged. I don't. I never got. I, I don't. I never came out. Like I wasn't like. Let me have to sit down. That's that's not what happened. So what happened? She caught us laying in bed. Me and a nigga. Yes, laid up. Yeah. Book went seven thirty. The what's the detail? Wait, wait. Story story What's the detail? Story Long story short, it was the first thing I ever fucked with. He was talking. He was from Jersey. He came to New York. We hung out. Where you live in New York? I'm in New York. I said, no, wait. At that point, you lived in Brooklyn. I was in Brooklyn. I was in Brooklyn. Came from Jersey to Brooklyn, baby. Jersey we to Brooklyn, go crazy. We was in a city kicking in the city. Drinks, have a good time. It was just chill vibes, whatever, whatever. He lied and said his the train stop running or some shit like that. that. Take him back to my house. Like you said with your mom. My mom was a cool mom. Like I just come over all the time. She thought she was This is just another friend and showing up problem. He came over legit, we did not do anything. Like I had set up a little place from the sleep or whatever the kids said she she went to bed. We got in the house like maybe three o'clock in the morning. Okay. Set up his old spot. She opened the door and have a good night. She left. He laid in his little situation we set up. I was in my bed. I said, come over here. And you set him up a fort? Yeah. I'm sorry. I was like, that's fine. He can sleep over there. No trace. No trace. No trace. It's going to get everybody. Everybody go tell over kids. It's not safe to you. She go back to bed. She go She go in the back. She go back to bed. That's my name. Lights is out. It's my mom's name. Right, Trace. Lights is out. I'm like, nigga, come over here. He get in my bed. Literally. Took my clothes off. Tracy. When I was naked. Don't watch this, Tracy. She oh, knows. She, it's all good. She know. I mean, they got caught. And let, <laughs> we did not do anything. She popped back up, flicked the light on, like, bust the door open. He was What's going on? Yeah, you are. You know, Tracy. Ain't no. She's like, what, what is going on? I was like, no, oh. no fucking words. Like, <laughs> she's like, let me talk to you in the kitchen real quick. He was gagged, baby. He was oh, fucking sure was all we were in the kitchen with the conversation. And my story's kind of like, you said Jules didn't fuck with it. His fucked with it. Mine was a little in between where she never gave, I don't fuck with you, blah, 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 blah. But right. it was never like, I accept this. It was like, because that's like, I feel like, kind of like, 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 like when I think your mom expected right. shit, like, I that's felt like you should have been able to do something. Like, I like, like, I've been, right, I've been such a good single mom. Yeah, I feel like we have that type of relationship where you could have came and told me. They always want you to be and, open, and then and when you open, open it, it'd be a problem. Sometimes. And that kind of, I'm like, so scared. That kind of hurt her a little bit. Um, so 
I feel like because of that, she like took it slowly, and it was like steps. Or my first nigga, she was like, uh, I don't really know. She wasn't really, you know, she didn't. Really that wasn't the first nigga. Oh, that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Going. You fucking no. me up. Nigga, that was my first nigga. No, my first, uh, that was my first thing I ever did I ever did anything with. Okay. My first actual boyfriend. She was like, all right, she was cool. He used to come over and stuff. And so your boyfriend, you never touched. Yeah, because the nigga, the nigga I got caught with too. I ain't never, I ain't never slept with him. Okay. I ain't never did nothing. My mother knows all those like bitches who used to come to my house. I bet he would kiss that nigga when I got caught. I got caught. I got caught. I inspire to be the parent that that's my kid, no matter what the fuck. You want to be a football bitch? Be a fucking football. Let him be a football. Fuck what you want. I'm sorry. Uh, my if kids you, give me no football. <laughs> give me no football. If you identify as whatever you identify, you know what the fuck. Mommy, I'm going to mess with you. I'm going to be a baseball. He's 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 going to be a that's what it is. Like, I'm going to love my... My point is, As I should. want to be the parent who is fucking accepting and not because of society's standards because... You have to make your child wanna, feel comfortable. I want it to be stupid comfortable with my kid that they're As like, Mom, be. I think I like boys. Mom, I think I like girls. Mom, I don't know what the fuck I like. I don't I'm, think I, I could drink with my kid. Yeah, give my kid the same reaction if they came to me, how I came to my parents. Of course. I, I can't do that. you went through. Exactly. That my mom said out her mouth and she's supposed to be this holy... This church going lady, it was disgusting. It was like Bro, my mother cussed me stank. It's so weird. She cussed me stank. It was so it's disgusting. Great. Like I will never be at your yeah. wedding. I will never do this. I will never do that. And my grandma, like, who was born in the fucking fifties, Miss Mac was like, "Listen, I don't know if I support it, bitch, but if you love it, I like it." Come on, Miss Mac. Come on, Miss Mac. Okay, Miss Mac. Right 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 Miss Mac in our lives. Mrs. Mac, yeah, we no love sir. you. That's what I love that. I love that for her. I love that for her too because if my mom wasn't gonna be there. It was like, swipe that bitch off the wall. We're going to make sure Mrs. Mm-hmm. Mac. Mm-hmm. Right. That bitch might fuck around and walk me down the aisle with her husband. Yeah, fuck I it. That. I love that. Fuck it. Mr. and Mrs. Mac walking me down the aisle. I'm okay with that. Mrs. Mac. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Macs with Macs. That's what it is. So we actually answered the second question, which was who did we, well, partially answered that question. Who did you feel comfortable telling? Because the first person that I told that I was fucking open to was Daryl. You see, what's crazy. My friends knew it was a uh, but. I feel like I when you enter high school, my friends assumed. Yeah. yeah that I, walked, I walked in that bitch, like, on the quietest, silent. I may have dressed like a tomboy, but them bitches, them, them niggas thought, yeah, I had a nigga. The, so oh, no, I like bitches. There was this girl that, um, she's not my best friend now. She was my bestie back then. And if y'all put two and two together, who gives a fuck? But <laughs> the point was, we had some stupid ass, like, drunk ass sex. And I was 15 or 16 years old. And then we went to school that Monday. Like nothing and happened. Like nothing happened. Nothing fucking and that's happened. That's what it was. Like at the end of the day. So the person who ended up finding out somehow was my aunt. Not the one that I told you was asking me if I was gay. Uh-huh. The, the aunt is in the business. No, aunts and uncles. Aunts and uncles. It was my aunt who was closest to my age. The one that's 12 years older than me. I grew up as my sister. One day, I don't know, we was just chilling. And this is years after this happened. I had to be like 18 minutes. She's like, I know you like bitches, you gay bitch. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and we was just chatting, talking, drinking. I'm like, bitch. She's like, bitch, I know. You don't got to tell me. I know, I know. When I know, I know. And I was like, you know what? It's, you know. Bitch, you know. It's crazy. It's because... what it was. And I was the first person that I ever admitted, besides my friends, of course. Like the first person of my family that I was like, you know what? Bitch, yeah, I be looking bitches and they be looking me. You know what's crazy? Be what it be. Because I'm so close with my brother, and I thought that that would be the first person I would open up and tell, right? And I, I was scared as fuck to tell Frank. Yo, I swear to God, after I got off the com- after off the phone with my mother, after her finding out, I called my brother. He's like, my nigga, I been new. So what the fuck? What do you mean you been new? Like, Basically, he's like, like my nigga, I been new. Like, what's next? Anyways, how's your day? Like, nigga, what? I just saw your mother just cuss me sick with my yeah. I had my know already. Matt, right. No, but no I felt like that was going to be the first person. The first person was Daryl. You wanted it to be. I wanted it to he be. He knew before Daryl knew. He did. Literally. literally, he did. He did. But just he like Fred, did. yeah. They're, they all knew. Everybody knew. Oh, yeah. You can't. I, bet, shout I, out to I told, I shout out I told to you guys. Shout out to Marie for knowing and not ever. But like, shout out to Marie. I, I, didn't have, I didn't have to say that I was gay, but I feel like I told you guys first. Like me actually claiming gayness and right and like being completely life. open about yeah, it yeah I mean, that's what I'm saying like me claiming my art class not bitch yeah so like I told I feel like I told them first like it was like 
India and y'all first. Like yeah. that group of people first. Yeah. Okay. Yo, it's crazy. I was dumb scared to tell Janine. I do not know why. You know what it was? Why was that when you saw her? We still we legitimately was ninth grade. We was ninth grade. Nice. 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 was fourteen. Was it? Yeah, what just about. Yeah. Not yeah. left back. Nah, nah, I'm negative. Never in my life not left back. Don't you play with me like that. Never. But nah, you know what it was? Because me and Janine used to be outside, and. It used to be a thing of, oh, let's go, let's go bag niggas, because that's the motherfucker I like. Okay. So it was like, all right, I got to put on this show and bag these niggas. I don't even like these niggas. And realistically, you don't even know I like the bitch at school type shit. So it's just like, you know? That makes sense as to why you felt all the pressure for her. Right. Right. Because y'all had a different. Yeah. Right. I like what y'all like. But my friends already know. India, Monique, all these bitches, they already know. You know. Daryl, everybody knew. The whole fucking school knew. I, the thing is, I called out. I actually called out everybody that was gay in the school before they, they even knew. It. Now, Daryl used to be a different type of breed in school yeah. with the women. Before, before they, I don't even know what. Yo, you know what I mean? for real. You ain't shit. Just ain't because the girls. The girls are trans now, Ooh. and I called that before they knew they was trans. Now we gang because we shout out to y'all though. Clocked. Shout out to y'all women now. Shout out to y'all to the women y'all are today. You said what? So, <laughs> date out on like five thousand. Have you ever? Moment. Have you guys ever felt like you were in the closet? Nope. No, I don't think it was like in the. Not closet everybody you would know. <laughs> no, I never did. I never. I told you, I was like, when does normal sexual activity start for uh, for anybody? Not even that. Right. Like it's like, bitch, I was being gay, flamboyant. I would be whining. I would be doing shit and as I a kid. Then they would be calling. Then they would be calling like burning. gay. And Batty Boy, and like you a faggot. So it was like, I was already doing stuff. It was just crazy for me though, because I feel like all my cousins, like I would go to my dad's house. My dad lives outside Jimmy's for fucking Queens, more for Queens. But all my cousins would come out and on the weekends and like summers, I was spend my whole weekends and my whole summers on my dad's family. And everybody's like, ah, my nails, paint my nails. And I'm like, we running? We can run back? <laughs> what we doing? And they like you such a nigga, and I'm like, a kid, though. That's, I, that's how I felt. But they were like, I don't know. Like, shout out to my cousins, but y'all bitches was like, I don't know. Paint my nails, and I was like, bitch, I want to get on these four wheelers. Like, you live in Delaware. There's mad dirt out here. Let's get dirty, bitch. That makes so, sense. Let's like, get dirty. That's what I was trying to do. But then as I got older, it progressed into let's get dirty, but let's get clean after the bitch and get out new. Because I feel like daddy, <laughs> that's, that's, that's that now is what confuses. No, that kind of thing, it was that confuses kids too, right? Because then I was like a kid that was like I was real ruggedy and I like to play yes, and I be yes. outside. But I was gay. I like to do gay shit. But I like no, to play with dolls. Me. I like to play with what's they confused the fuck. I didn't know what out of you. I'm like, why? My mother used to buy me. My, my boys too. My they mother used to too. buy me Barbies, and I swear to God, I used to take freight Ninja Turtles. My Ninja Turtles had bitches because I was not playing. Yo, I was not doing that weird shit, bro. Yo, Shout out to my brother and them fucking Ninja Turtles because them motherfuckers came in real handy. You had Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles. I was taking Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, bro. House. I had the Barbie. I had Barbie the whole Barbie shit. tech, bro. Shout out to a big Barbie. Fuck out of here. Big Barb. But the Ninja Turtles had bitches. But I to go outside. It was so weird. I had my cruise ship at home, my Barbie dream house in the be and then like, one of my best friends, she lived across the hall from me. She would ring my bell. Bitch, we put bar- Barbie and King gotta go. It's time <laughs> to get on the bikes. We bring the bikes outside, bitch. We're, we're going up the block. You're not supposed to be up the block. Mom said no. But I'm. I feel know. like that would be fucking the keys up. That's what fucking the keys up. I'm not gonna lie. We have to we like allow kids to like explore to all their. Figuring avenues. out. I was yeah. playing with all Barbie. Their they have it and they don't. Dirt bikes no, early that's, since 13, that's. 12. I was. I knew what I what I was. I just didn't know how to stand Express on my mouth. That. Fact, very much so. Yeah. We need to, like, figure out a way how to make more kids express you know that stuff. What? It's going to be always be hard. You have to be a comfortable parent. Yeah. It's just so hard because I feel like the first person, the first people kids should be able to tell should be their parents. And they're never going to do that. Gonna it's never going to be a never thing. never going to be the You have parent. to make your kids feel. It's going to be your friends. You have my to, opinion, you have to make your kids feel comfortable. Yeah, you have how to com- be a friend also, I feel, though. I feel like even if you're their comfortable still. A little bit. A little of bit. Of being a friend, right? A little but bit. you always have to make your child feel comfortable I enough like to tell you first. Comfortable. I feel like even that's the generation going to want to get easier. Because I get these things as well. Let get these guys. Nine and eight talking about they want to be a woman and they're a whole little boy. They don't even know what, what. They don't even what have the sensation they're in their right parents away. yet. They have nothing yet. They haven't even had but a period yet. Telling their, exactly. But they're telling their parents, I want to be a little boy. I want to be a little girl. I how do you want to express? I That's different. The how do you want to express this? How do you know you want to express that? Because you're seeing it online? Because you have no. to remember, kids are impressionable. 
So they want to be sometimes just what they see, not because they actually. I think you're. I think, I think. I think. you guys are actually. Social media you, encourages okay. that too. I think so. You guys are slacking on actual parents these days because parents no. these days are not having their kids. No, a lot of them are not having. They don't have their phones. They don't allow to like. A lot of these kids have phones. I lot of these kids got phones. What's up, bro? A lot of these kids got phones. What did you talking about? If they have a phone, they got a tablet. It's this is this this is within this generation. And you're bugging out. Stop playing around. This is just stop playing around. I see kids like kids that love them. That's not the majority. That's not the majority. So don't generalize. The majority you know, of the next well, generation has um red devices. Savvy, you got to be savvy. Savvy, but that does not mean they're on their iPad. They know we came from. We came from that they have more since yeah. COVID when these kids had nothing but iPads and laptops to fucking learn to fucking learn I don't know what was they they said in the phone when they shut down the phones textbooks what are you talking about y'all not giving a what's the name enough credit y'all not giving a new generation of parents any credit what are you doing any credit but how old are we what's my girlfriend that make all her stuff from scratch that who kids don't do nothing that be on social media and they be getting to know all your time I'm making I'm I'm making, cheese, I'm making cheese with him scratch. The vegan? The <laughs> what's her name? Like, what's her name? What's her name? I don't know. I don't know. Give credit to these girls. Give credit to these new girls. Yeah, the blast on the phone. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they exists. They're, the They're not the majority. It's not the majority. It's one person. But it's a very small percentage of parents that are like that in real life. Please talk your shit. Like, come on. What? All these little niggas got iPads, what? they got you cell phones, they got Instagram, they got TikTok, interviewed... Snapchat. That hit me so That hit me going stupid and they be in like the sixth grade, like... Stop. They be like, bitch, shouldn't you be in gym class? Go change, ho. Go change, ho. Go so for the question that we've all been waiting for, so mad. your your first sexual encounter. I, I already gave you that mine. Oh, you did do your first, your first sexual encounter. Sexual no, encounter. Okay. That was the first one. That was your first oh, sexual encounter. Yeah, didn't fuck. Yeah, didn't fuck. We didn't fuck. So you. So that's like your first first. What? Are you lying? I'm not lying. Yeah, just got a bit naked. What's your cuddle? No, we. Yeah, was, 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 was about to get. We did not saying. fuck, so I guess that's not the first one. No, so I guess I'm not another story. Even that too. That's like sexuality, and that's like what's the name? You don't have to fuck. It it's but it's intimacy. Naked. It's intimacy. That wasn't my first sexual cuddle? experience. Did you get It's intimacy. It's intimacy. No, that's intimacy. That what are you talking about? Tracy said no, not on my watch. Intimacy. It is intimacy. It is intimacy. It's niggas out here be calling themselves sides that's not having sex. Intimacy is also sexual intimacy. Si- sizes do have sex. Let's so clarify that. Have sex, baby. What is the, what is the what sex with a nigga? Your first oh, sexual I encounter. Mean, I want to know it all. I actually had sex with a female first. All right, and how old was you? I was in high school. No, no, no. The age. I don't remember my age. Everybody was in high school. I'm a little older. Niggas, how much older? How old is you? I'm thirty. I'm Go thirty-one hell, next you're month. Five. The point <laughs> is, how old you <laughs> had intercourse with a man, intercourse with a woman? Maybe 20, 20 with a female. Hmm. I'm guest man. Oh, okay. That's old. Gays the man. Um, and a nigga was after, maybe a year or two after that. Okay, you was very a late bloomer. I love that for you, Dara. Well, you already know I said I was 15. <laughs> I was the bottom. Thanks, I was the bottom. <laughs> He said, "I know what he almost hot, bitch." But I'm saying, even that situation, right? Uh, terrible, Wait. terrible experience. So, <laughs> we don't do man, but no, with we gal. Uh, no, no, no. No, literally, we don't, we don't do man. I didn't ask about the nigga. Oh, I'm about to say <laughs> the fight when I see you, bitch. Uh, you um, fuck. <laughs> so let's just talk about the bitch. With nobody, I don't even want to know about I'm a nigga. Crying. If I see you with a nigga, I might cry like onions. Like, oh. just tell me about a bitch. <laughs> When you tap that, wait, who was your first bitch, right, man? No, no, I don't care who your first bitch was. When I, was no, your I'm first thinking, bitch? I'm trying to like. I ain't gonna think of it. Because you know, yeah. There's so many bitches, I can't remember the first bitch. Uh, about when? Ooh, high, definitely high school. Um, he threw up. That was Somebody definitely high school. What you mean? Somebody threw up back there. Somebody gagged. No, see, you gagged. You gagged. Come on, audience. You gagged. Come on, that one. Participation. She said, Ooh, and I threw it. Now she was and fucking a bitch oh, with a whole head. So you think of that bitch watching? That's crazy. 
That is crazy. <laughs> Who cares about who watching? Exactly. Yo, they should be watching. Get them views up. Forty into the back, calling people more headed. Um, if you don't got no hate, don't got no nah. Yeah, yeah, shout shout out to the live audience. First, you get out. you away, right? Get you away, bitch. The first, it was definitely high school. It was definitely your someone who you who you like uh, at the time. He didn't leave these bitches. Um, he never been like these bitches. It was never. It wasn't. It was a little like great neva. <laughs> It wasn't what How I thought it was. Were you? I was probably like 16. 16? Okay, you was a holler. Oh, wow. You think so? I, I, cause I well, like, wait, so what's, what's, the, what's the right answer? What's the right answer? What's the right answer? What's the right answer? Let's get both answers. Let's get both answers. Let's get both answers. The first time I ever touched a bitch, I was 15 years old. Actually, I'm lying. The first time I ever touched a man, I was 18 already at high school. Actually, you know what? I and am that very much to show you the difference of how I didn't know what the fuck I you wanted, wanted mm. to do, and then when I figured it out, I still was like, "Oh, I like the bitches." I don't know. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was definitely elementary school because I was out here playing I'm daddy. Not gonna lie, I, have I was out here playing daddy when they started to play out. Exactly. I'm gonna be a bitch. Right. I I'm gonna be a bitch. I played with a little son in elementary. No. I'm not I definitely did school. in elementary school. I did. No, criminal intent or not. Actually, elementary school was walky as fuck. So they used to be into a lot of freaky and nasty shit. Investigate them. I have the power. Uh, PS one hundred and nine. Shut, shut down. He's off the whole shut down. The whole school. Yeah, not gonna closed. open up in the fall. I promise you that. Nah, they really used to be underneath the table. They used to be doing wild shit. That was such a kid. So one hundred and nine. But legitimately, my but mother used to send me home sometimes with with my friend. Cause she was close with the parents, and they used to be inside the house playing house. And oh, your friend will be the baby, and I'll be the mom. And of course, I'm daddy. And one day, niggas got on top of that bed, and it got a little crazy inside so there. Closing ourselves. You God, know what's crazy? Even in house, I play I fucked myself real quick. Even in playing house, I was never that raunchy. I was. What are you doing? I was never that raunchy. I was telling you, girl, because I had a wife and stuff. I got married. They were never that raw shit. They were never that raw shit. I said when I play house, I'm the daddy, right? I'm not the daddy. We know what you're offering. We know what you're offering. We're going to leave you in the audience. We're going to leave you They should definitely close down PS228 because... I agree. He was out here being raunchy, too. I was like seven, eight years old, and... I want to say a name so bad. I haven't seen the bitch since. But she not. However. Say her name. No. Say my name. Say my name. No. But anyways, we was definitely. Can we get an initial? T- I told the name already. Bitch, What's the name? Watch the yeah. playback. Damn, that's fucked up. Ooh, pay attention. That's crazy. Speak. We definitely did some things we were supposed to do very young. And that's what taught me from young. Oh, I love me a hoe. You love you a hoe. I love me a freaky hoe. You're not a freaky hoe. She was a freaky hoe. Oh. And she was a year older than me. Mm-hmm. That bitch took advantage of me. Shout out to the older bitches. And I was still the daddy. And she took advantage of me. <laughs> she took advantage of me and I was still the daddy. Boy, Ooh. I was still the steady. Oh. But the point is. We gonna call you the fammy. Cause you a fam. We gonna call you a fammy. A fam daddy. A fammy. I like that I for you. A fammy. Oh. oh. See we- <laughs> That was I knew. What is that? That was I had been there. I said that. I just made that. No, fan me. I got three different dicks for y'all. Different colors all of that. Ooh. The beige one. The beige it's the, one. The, the beige you know one. What apparently, one is right now. Even though yeah. I touched the bitch in Atlanta with the with the beige one. First of all, pause. I have a question for you, friend. What's the question, friend? Friend, you keeping the same straps? No, she got three different She's ones. She's got three different shots, but you, so it's, it's the, re- the others re- were, re- are new. Okay, I was going to say, I, I, I got to touch a bitch with those right, two. Right, I got to buy new straps. I can't just, you know, but a lot no. of these bitches be reusing the same strap, no, and that's no, how this no, is going no, around no, and home. Hold on, hold on. That bitch one. Hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait, what's right? If it's not what's right. Because we're the same thing. Wait. You you can give bitches shit from a strap. Yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. What the fuck are you doing? Yes, are, so are we not washing our strap with soap and water? What the oh, fuck are we yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, we are. What the fuck are we doing? Are you kidding me? So how are we giving people shit from the straps? Are you kidding me? What can you get? I, if, if, if the only thing you're not getting is a UPI. 
Hello. Then, then, so you guys, hello. So, I, oh, wait, that, that's the only time. How are you so supposed to have this? Hello. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? Here. We're not supposed to have gotten here. I'm I'm trying to air a symbol for you. But we're here. If person A has anything and they touch that strap, it's been in them, in their mouth, in their whatever. I mean, and then you use that strap on person B. Do you have person B? Okay, so let me know. I don't know about that. Say, I don't know how know STDs work. Person B very much can. Also, are we talking about STDs? Are we talking about STDs? Okay, so STDs don't last long once it comes out of the thing. Are you me? Are you hearing no words? Oh my God. Okay, no, no, no. Here's another the point. They don't. Oh, they don't. Lie they don't. 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 On the next day, I'm saying, but that's, that's a better real life. It very much can. Get it's possible. It's a personal preference. Yeah, but that I don't think you can get. Y'all, what the fuck is going on here? Who the fuck? Gonorrhea, syphilis, these things from a strap. You can't strap, baby. You can't. Yes, you, you can't can. get these things from a strap. Baby. If, if yes, I you go can. fuck a bitch right now with a strap and she got gonorrhea and, and you full business, I can never wash it off. The, the, and next, I go the, the next one is not going to get down on her. Why not? Because that means you don't know about STD. Hello, sir. I have bacteria and die with an ulcer. Oh, you look up. That's a fucking fat. I'm going to need y'all to go. Is that even the STD portion? It's not even the STD portion. It's not even the portion. Is that even the STD portion? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, that would be, that would be, that would be an instance. I would say, like, okay, you fuck this bitch with a strap, then you. Put it right back in the next bitch. Yeah, bitch. And niggas do that all the time. That's from the strap. Yeah, that's, that's from the strap. You fuck somebody and you wash it after. Not even if, if you don't you don't even have to wash it. If it's, if it's a day, if it's a day or two it. after. I'm not going to get it. Look here, I'm going to play a drop in cup in my hands. Look here. They can't get it. Don't care and get in that studio. No, but I see. Because I don't think you know. We're talking crazy. Let's go. Do we have to use Google? Google? Go to Don't your doctor. Try to fr- you were low. You still go. Talk to your doctor. I know this for a fact. Talk to your doctor. Because I know this for a fact. Because I am actually HIV positive. So I go to the doctor all the time. So I know this. Look that up. Look that up. Look that up. Look that up. I'm not this. But pause. But pause. That's not baby. Baby, no. No. I'm saying it's possible. But baby, no. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm not putting dried up cum. From the last no bitch. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, your point I'm like, I know. I get it. Right. Point is, you want to use it. It's a personal preference. That preference. should be the preference that for everybody. That should be like that. I don't care how it's not. It should be. That should always be your preference. But it's not. If you're gay, you should have multiple ones. Multiple But watch all those multiple dicks. There you go. Every strap you on get washed. Your fuck up bitch, you all wash your, the all dick. All your toys. All your toys. Everything. Yes. All your toys. Everybody is trying to wash. enter a soul with a next bitch soul. Oh. No. If you use a no. roll on a bitch, wash the rolls. Oh, that is if a, you use a tickler, whatever the fuck your bitches that's use, regular, what's the name? wash that that's, shit. That's We're not ass. doing it. That's human It shouldn't be an ass. That's what we're not doing. That should be a norm. Don't be a nasty bitch. So... See, he just, he just, he proved a point to you. Okay. Let me see. Always, okay. We got the Google read, chat. Read it aloud for us. We got the Google chat. This, this is, this is um, HIV? Yeah. So virus is period. Okay, virus is period. A virus can remain airborne for up to three hours. Viruses can survive up to 72, 72 hours, hours on stainless steel and three days. plastic okay. surfaces. Viruses can survive yeah, up to 24 so hours on cardboard surfaces. All buy a new strap. must be cleaned prior to disinfecting. A fucking clean your blood clot shot. Again, you can you you can you 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 can get there. That's cases where literally you're not good. You're not literally a cage girl. This wood girl is this wood. Literally use her mom's fucking. Uh, toy. Man, I want to use it. And she's a virgin. She's never had sex before. That she used her mom's toy and she contracted a fucking STD that her mom had. Yes, her food. I heard about that. Toy. Her, she it's got her possible and it's happened. It's cases in real life. Yeah. So I'm not dispelling what you're saying about how long the bacteria lasts and all that. That's a fact. That's a but fact. it's very much possible to contract something a from a toy a from someone who has the case is not baby. a study. But now I don't want to. I don't want to play like that. The overall to the to the. A warning on this case is not a study. Go clean 
all their blood clots. Hold on. Toys. He's cleaning all the children. And that's regular. That's, that should be, that should be common knowledge. That should be common knowledge. When you finish fucking, when you're you're sorry. Sorry. do you wipe yourself down? That's, that's, that's not a question. No, it's shower. It should be. It's in the shower. The same way you clean yourself, baby. Make sure your toys are clean immediately. Now, what that saying? What did you just clean yourself? The herpes simplex vi- virus can survive that's outside herpes. the body so for a different. short time, ranging from a few hours up to seven days. Skin, two hours. Cloth, three hours. Plastic, four hours. Chrome, two to four hours. Water, two to four hours. Okay. Lip balm okay. or your lipstick, hours or up to fucking seven Don't look up that again. That city from my motherfucking mom. Again, 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 again. Herpes is it's a different possible. disease, and you can actually still pass herpes on without even an outbreak. What we're saying is that without even an outbreak. We're just spelling it. After you guys are done, it's possible. Well, for the disease that you were saying. Herpes is a different is. I mean, I got to go. I was talking about, you know, what, I feel like, what, what time of class we're in right now? <laughs> you remember the classes we used to have after school in Wendy's with Monique? And she used to sell something. In Wendy's. In Wendy's. This what Dustin's giving her right now. In Wendy's. Yeah, we used to go to Wendy's and Monique used to give us sexual uh, classes about STDs. Shout out to Monique. Who the fuck is um, Monique? Shout out to Monique. Shout out to Monique. Shout out to Monique. Even, even Monique. though, even though. Even Shout out to Gucci. That bitch don't like me, and I know that bitch don't. Well, like he me. don't like you, Devado. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's 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 fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Money, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, money. That should be doing weird shit. I don't like weird. If you, so, yo, like weird shit. We're gonna end it right there. Okay, so start shouting so, on me then. I take my shout out. All right, the fuck for our last question of the night. Um, do you think society has become more okay with the LGBT community? Yup. No. Why do you feel no? I'm. I feel no as well. I mean, but why do you feel no? I'm saying because the the feedback, even with the visibility. I mean, we have we have we have gotten like a lot of visibility over the past years, like trans people, gay people, especially black trans and gay people. That's literally that's literally contradicting what you just said. No, I'm saying we have a lot of visibility. That doesn't mean that we're accepted. Absolutely. What was the question? Um, <clears throat> do you do think we, society has become more okay with the LGBT community? Accepting of us, no. We, we have, we have become more visible. visible. Very visible. visible why are we visible? visible in why are we visible? Which because why? why? What do you mean because why? Because everybody want to be cool and they want to be in. I everybody want to be down. Y'all want to be down what, what, so what, bad. I feel like it's that's a, it's a, a person corporation. That's, 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 so that's, that's why corporations come around drawing pride. That's, that's, that's why these corporations who actually don't support the fuck out of no gay niggas come around drawing pride. Valid point. Valid point. They're using Continue. it as a money scheme. We're not accepted. It's, it, it, it. I'm saying, n- sorry, friend, to bring you into this room. <laughs> so sorry, baby. Talk but I'm shit. saying it's the same. Like It's almost like the same unconscious stuff, right, that happens mm-hmm. when you're like, okay, I'm gay and I want to be gay because it happens too with gay men. It does. Like we're gay and we want to be gay. Awesome. But there's a lot of stuff we don't accept. We don't accept trans people. Mm-hmm. How are you gay and you don't accept? I feel like how even now, how, how are you gay and you don't accept? Sounds like that shit. I think it's fucking Hold weird. On. That's on. what I'm saying. So Hold if you want to, as so you as a gay person, I feel like you have to be open, open, open to, to every people's sexuality, what it's they want to explore. Even if you're judgmental, the gays don't believe in bisexuality. Why not? They don't. They don't. But so even that's well, their problem. That's why. Not even, even, that's why I'm still single. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so um. Funny enough, this is our time, but okay. Um, we will continue off this uh, topic. We have Any more. To. I would tell you guys next week, same time, but it's definitely. She um, be lying. She be late. Wow, fuck out of here. We she will be not be here next on week. These hoes. She be lying. just the following she week. Late. Um, right now we're gonna hit you guys with a eight o'clock. So if you guys are home, Ooh, grab your cup. This is gonna be my ending too. Take your I'm shot. And off with this. Um. <clears throat> See, are, are you gonna part? Do you have work tomorrow? The, tomorrow's not Friday. So. It's okay. The dogs will be okay. <laughs> the dogs will be okay. Do you know how actually? You dogs? How many dogs? No, I'm, I'm a dog trainer. A hey, dog training. So if I bring my dog to you, they gonna behave right? Cause they I be speaking after. Right. They, they do what? Are you guys prepared? I'm, I'm are you ready? At what I do. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We will hit you guys with a part two, of course. And uh, stay safe. Happy Pride to all my gay niggas. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride Month. Yeah. 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 It's what to the gays? To the gays. To the gays. Yeah. 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 And my straight people. To everybody, ho. To everybody.